Hi everyone, welcome to Dharya Veda. The today's topic, or now we are going to discuss about the Shalmali, that is Shalmalia Malabharika, one of the very important drug which we will frequently use in a practice. So Shalmali, what is the basonym? Shalate Shobhate Malate Dhariyati Cheti. So Shalmali is the one Shalate Shobhate which bears the beautiful red flowers by which it attracts the people. Malate Dhariyati Cheti. By uh, its property, what it does is, its karma is Malate Dhariyati, one which stops the diarrhea is nothing but the Shalmali. So what is the botanical name? Shalmalia malabarica and belongs to the family Bombacaceae. So vernacular names, the regional names are in Canada we will call it as Kempuburugadamara because of it is having the uh, red color flowers and the kantakas nothing but the spines what to the tree is attached to, tree stem is attached to by is also red in color when we uh, uh, does the garshan of that spine then it is it will uh, produce a red color. That's why it is called as a Kempuburugada Mara. In English, silk cotton tree, when the fala, the fruit of the Shalmali is uh, the dehiscent, it is it is in a dehiscent nature. When it is spit out, it the, it will emit some uh, uh, silky cotton, uh, silky cotton like uh, structures, the seeds. That's why it is called as a silk cotton tree. And Hindi, it is called as a Nurma. And Vargas, you know, for the uh, which Mahakashaya under which the Charaka is mentioned are Purisha Virajaniya, the one which gives the color for normal color for stool, Sandhaniya, which unites the teared or a breaked bones and all, Shonita Stapana, one which does the Stambhana, Purisha Sangrahaniya, one which does the uh, collection or the proper uh, deposition of a mala, Vedana Stapana Mahakashaya. Vedana Stapana is nothing but the one which uh, subsides is the pain and synonyms based on the morphology Purani, Chirajivika, Manadruma, Kantakadya, Mocha, Raktapushpa, Kukuti and Tulafala. Based on the its uh, nature of living, uh, long lifespan is there, no? that's why it is called as a Purani, Chiradrum, Ch uh, Purani, Chirajivika and all. And based on the stem has the spiny nature. That's why it is called as a Kantakadya. And the Shalmali useful part is its Niryasa. That is nothing but the, we will call that Niryasa as a Mocha Rasa. That's why it is called as a Mocha. It having the uh, red color flowers, so Rakta Pushpa. And it, the Shalmali's uh, uh, fruits are co uh, also called as, or we will say it as a Tula Fala. That's why it is called as a Tula Fala. It has a long uh, fruits. That's why it is called as a Tula Fala. And based on the property and action, Pichila, Purani and Bahuviria. Based on the action also, it is so, it's very sti uh, sticky in nature. That's why it is called as a Mocharasa is there, no? Niryasa. That's why it is called as Pichila, Bahuviria. It is useful in a wide range of uh, diseases like uh, it is a Sandhani also. We will give it in a Asti Bhagna condition and Shonita Stapana because of that we will... Uh, uh, administer in a menstrual disorder or Ati Raktastrava if uh, was there and Purisha Sangrahaniya and Purisha Virajaniya. So in the condition of diarrhea we will administer this Shalmali. So types, what are the uh, ty different types of a Shalmali? Shalmali and Kuta Shalmali are the two types of the Shalmali. And morphology, how it is there, how it look like? Swarupa, it's a Vruksha. And it's a very tall tree having a single woody stem and the stem is attached by the numerous spines which are uh, very spiny in nature and uh, it will have a single trunk and stem long cylindrical covered with the sharp prickles as I already told. Leaves are compound leaf and are flowers are numerous in number and red in color. Fruit is a capsule and habitat it is available all over the India and useful parts are Niryasa and Kantaka whereas uh, here the Niryasa and Kantaka are there. Two of the useful parts are having a wide range of applicability whereas Niryasa we will uh, use it as a Stambhanartha or uh, Shonita Stapanartha, Vedanartha or Sandhaniartha whereas Kantakas are especially 
used for the mukadhushika that is the if acne is there or a pigmentation is there dark spots of acne is remained in that condition usually we will uh, take that prickles or the uh, sharp spine nothing but a kantakas and we will uh, do the darshana garshana with the water or anything and we will prepare uh, some kind of lepa consistency then we will apply it gives the enormous result that it will quickly heal the acne and the dark marks and all and this is about the uh, useful parts so having the phytochemicals naphthoquinone lupel lupeol beta cetosterol and rasa panchaka that uh, usually uh, mocha rasa is the useful part which we will use for a internal administration so the rasa panchaka of mocha rasa are having a rasa, kashaya rasa guna are lagu snigdha and pichila guna vipaka is katu and virya is sheetha one of the vichitra pratyarabdha dravya doshagnata is vata pitta shamaka so it is the karma and rogagnata that is action and indication grahi it is having a grahi and uh, uh, stapana karma that's why it is uh, uh, indicated in atisara uh, atyarthava and all and having a vrusha karma indicated in klaibhyata and rasayana it's a well known drug for uh, uh, nourishing the body that's why indicated in daurbalya kushtagnata is the uh, kantakas are kushtagna in nature or one which uh, helps us to get a, get rid of the acne and its marks that's why it is called as a kushtagna and uh, indicated in kushta that is nothing but a skin disorders and amaika prayoga so what are the therapeutic uses or how we will utilize the uh, shalmali are in case of vyanga that is nothing but the hyperpigmentation of a skin churn of shalmali kantaka applied to the face with a milk or uh, we can use if we a uh, patient or anybody having the uh, oily skin then we can use the water or rose water or we can combine it with the chandana lepa or aloe vera and all we can use it as our convenient with a very precaution by understanding our own skin and many are they by the administering the their own uh, the formulation we will get rid of the so many conditions by this matra in when we administering the churna form 3 to 5 gram is needs to be given when we give giving us varasa 10 to 20 ml when we are administering a niryasa 1 to 3 gram has to be given for the patient by considering the condition and agni bala of the patient so vishishta yoga what are the different kinds of a formulation the shalmali is possessing are shalmali gruta chandanaadi taila pichcha bhasti changeri gruta udumbaraadi taila and pushyanuga churna as i already told it has a stapana karma and a vedana stapana it is pitta hara also that's why the same uh, kind of a formulations it is having like uh, chandanaadi taila udumbaraadi taila pushyanuga churna is, uh, we will specially use it in a rakta shweta pradara so these are the different kinds of formulations under which the shalmali is used whatever may be the composition and all whatever the formulation we have when the doctor will administer with his own intelligentness or uh, intellectuality by the different permutation and combination then only the patient will get easily cured and whatever may be the drug the only property need to be considered by considering the prakruti and all the aspects of a patient then only we will get the proper result when we administer the any kind of a formulations or a, our own medications